Hello friends, the topic for today is IoT logical design or architecture. The internet of things should be capable of interconnecting billions or trillions of heterogeneous objects or things through internet. So there is a critical need of flexible architecture. In today's video, we will discuss the five layer model for IoT architecture. Let us start. Welcome to our channel Engineering and Technology for You. The topic for today is IoT logical design or architecture. Introduction. Logical design of an IoT system refers to an abstract representation of the entities and processes without going into the low level specifics of the implementation. IoT should be capable of interconnecting billions or trillions of heterogeneous objects through the internet. So there is a critical need for a flexible layered architecture. The basic model is a three layer architecture consisting of application, network and perception layer or the object layer. However, in recent literature, some models have been proposed that add more abstraction to the IoT architecture. Some common architectures among them is a five layer model that is shown in the figure one on the next slide. So we will be discussing the five layer model. The Internet of Things architecture five layer model has following layers, object or perception layer object, abstraction layer, service management layer, application layer and business layer. So you can see these layers here in this figure. The first layer is the object or perception layer. Above that we have the object abstraction layer, then we have the service management layer, then application layer and the business layer. We will see each of these layers in details. The first is object or devices or perception layer. The first layer, the object's devices or perception layer represents the physical sensors of IoT that aim to collect and process information. So here the smart objects, we uh, represent this layer with the help of smart objects. This layer includes sensors and actuators to perform different functionalities such as querying a location, temperature, weight, motion, vibration, acceleration, humidity, etc. So these are some of the parameters which the sensors will give us the information about these parameters. Then standardized plug and play mechanism need to be used by the perception layer to configure heterogeneous objects. So the configuring configuration of heterogeneous objects. It will be easy if we use the plug and play mechanism. Then perception layer digitizes and transfers data to the object abstraction layer through secure channels. So it digitizes means it will convert the different parameters such as say vibration, acceleration, humidity, temperature into digital values with the help of analog to digital converters and then transfers the data to the object abstraction layer that is the layer which is above it. The big data created by IoT are initiated at this layer. So we talk about the big data. So that will be created at this layer. Then next is object abstraction layer. The object abstraction transfers data produced by the object layer to the service management layer through secure channels. So basically this is the communication medium. So data can be transferred through various technologies. We have different technologies such as RFID, radio frequency identification, then 3G, GSM, UMTS, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Bluetooth, low energy, infrared, Zigbee, etc. 
So we have talked about some of the protocols in the previous video. Then furthermore, other functions like cloud computing and data management processes are handled at this layer. So this is the layer above the object layer. So it's called as the object abstraction layer. Then next we have the service management layer. Service management or middleware pairing layer pairs a service with its requester based on addresses and names. So we have talked about the identity of the physical objects or things. So based on that request by the particular thing it will this service management will pair the service with the request and this layer enables the IoT application programmers to work with heterogeneous objects without consideration of specific hardware platform. So that's why here that is important the heterogeneous objects the objects are heterogeneous different uh, devices will be there different controllers, microcontrollers, embedded systems will be there. So that's why that is called as the heterogeneous objects. So without considering that specific hardware platform, the layer has to enable to work with the heterogeneous object. And also this layer processes received data, makes decisions and delivers the required services over the network wire protocol. So, whatever data is received at this layer it will be processed and it will make decisions based on that and it will deliver the required services over the network wire protocols then the next layer is the application layer the application layer provides services requested by the customers depending on the applications for instance the application layer can provide temperature or and air humidity measurements to the customer who asks for the data. So the importance of this layer for IoT is that it has the ability to provide high quality smart services to meet customer needs. The application layer covers numerous vertical markets such as smart home, smart building, transportation, industrial automation and smart healthcare. So these are some of the applications which are there for the internet of things so with the help of this layer it can cover these applications then next layer is the business layer the business or management layer manages the overall iot system activities and services the responsibilities of this layer are to build a business model graphs flowcharts etc based on the received data from the application layer it also supports to design, analyze, implement, evaluate, monitor and develop IoT system related elements. So uh, that is whatever IoT system related elements are there, they are part of this layer design analysis that will be the part of this layer. Then business layer makes it possible to support decision making process based on big data analysis. Then in addition, monitoring and management of the underlying four layers is achieved at this layer. Moreover, this layer compares the output of each layer with the expected output to enhance the services and maintain users policy, privacy. So this is the business layer. Then next we will conclude conclusion in the five layer model the application layer is the interface by which end users can interact with the device and query for the interesting data it also provides an interface to the business layer where high level analysis and reports can be produced the control mechanism of accessing data in the application layer also handled at this layer this layer the layer is hosted on powerful devices due to its complex and enormous computational needs. That is the business layer. In considering these points on the 
one hand and sticking to the simplicity of the architecture on the other hand the five layer architecture is the most applicable model for the iot applications that is what we conclude from this so with the this we come to the end of this video if you like the video press the like button share with your friends and subscribe to our channel engineering and technology for you and press the bell icon if you want to get the notifications for future videos then if you have any queries contact me on facebook twitter gmail ullaskumargokale at the rate gmail.com or instagram thanks for watching have a nice